What's good, YouTube? Carify can here. hear Aqua Life Baby. You already know how it is. And I wanted to make this video quick because um, I know it's a little bit a while since the ruling came down for the variants Hard Leg and Violence for Anger ban, but I wanted to kind of just talk about it right now because um, I think it was this week that the ban came into effect that uh, Hard Leg and Franger can no longer be used in their standard decks. Um, and. You know, I was play testing. Uh, as you guys know, I'm a dark and regular player. I've been I play dark and regular, play Rufus and okay. Um, I like the deck. I do really well with the deck. Um, and you know, I do have some people that do like Gramble as well. So I was actually you know just testing out both decks and the ban. You know, looking at going back and looking at this ban list. You know, playing it without these without Franger and Hard Leg, it really reduces these decks down to. A play style that they had before which is not really good and um uh, it's just not progressive at all it's it's just it, it, it's really really kind of bad and kind of sad what they what where the decks are at right now so getting into it i want to give you a few reasons as to why i think the ban was bad especially the timing of the ban was bad one reason is that these decks are not even being played in tournaments like like dark like at least here in the Mar in the maryland scene right if black steve is not playing dark regulars if i'm not playing dark regulars nobody's really playing dark no one's playing dark regulars in a tournament that's just fact um when i look at re tournament reports you know vision turn reports japanese ones wherever singapore china if you see dark regulars on the clan breakdown list they're probably in the one percentile dark regulars and grand blue they're probably sitting in the one percentile of some off one random person decided to bring the, the, the deck to a tournament I'll tell you, I wouldn't bring, I mean, like, I wouldn't bring Grand Blue to a tournament that I pay for. I mean, Dark Regular, sure, because I'm, I know how to play a deck, and I think that that, is, that was probably the most, um, you know, skill-intensive deck that you had as far as decision-making goes uh, for what, you know, what you soul charge, what you set up for, and you planning a few turns ahead. I think that, that was that for Dark Regulars, but neither here nor there. Um, but again, you don't see these decks being played in tournaments. You know, you look at your local scene, Unless they're like a die, die hard, die hard fan of one of these two clans, you're, they're not going to be playing in tournaments. And even some die hard fans don't even want to play them in the tournaments, maybe. So there is that. They're, they don't really have any representation in tournaments right now. The other issue that I have with them, the other issue I have with them is, um, you know, how, you know, you know, when you look at both of them, how their conditions are. Franger is the easiest condition to understand because Franger is simple. I think two grade threes in soul, ch check how many, check what grades you have in your hand to discard and check what grade, you know, how much damage your opponent is at. That would, and that's really Franger. Franger is a generic card. Uh, you bring him out late game, usually when your opponent's at five damage, and you can discard at least a zero and a one to get rid of 10k through, um, you know, 10k through um, 20k shieldings and and perfect guards because everyone plays draw PGs. Um, even if they don't play draw PGs, get rid of perfect guards. That's at least what you want to um, get rid of. But with hard leg, hard leg requires a specific deck. You have to be playing the Brufus deck that features Emblem Master because you need because that because he requires you to soul to have in soul three different three copies of three different cards in your soul. So that's so you need to spend your game setting that condition up. And that you know can take a process because you need to see your Brufus, you need to see your Emma Masters, um, and then when you do Soul Charge certain things, you need to make sure that the card is now your damage because that's where you have to have Killer Tail for, and you also want to set up Killer Tail, put three cards her her soul so she can Soul Charge from damage zone and then give you a counter charge. So you have a lot of different things you need to check when setting up Hard Leg, and then Hard Leg gives the problem with that is that Hard Leg. Um, his closing ability gave Dark Irregulars the edge when your opponent's playing has like a staying around mid range damage, like three damage, two even, um, four to either heavily cripple their hand and really push their damage, 
or to finish them off like going to you know it's like you know depending on where you're at going to a nlk turn while your opponent's at three damage drop the hard leg and then push from there uh your opponent's at four or five damage in a you know hard leg is like the last thing they want to see especially with a low hand um so it's so that is what you know hard leg brings he brings dark regulars the ability to close out games and or cripple opponents so that they would have to struggle on offense next turn and then you can finish them off on your turn on your next offensive turn after being able to defend them so hard leg is a little bit harder to set up no pun intended because of what you have to do throughout the game to set up his condition franger is just one of the you know grand blue is on a time limit grand blue is constantly milling cars to bring stuff you know to bring out their stuff and when it comes to franger you know your opponent needs to be you know at a specific damage really for him to be effective and then you need to make sure you have the requisite grades in hand to make sure your opponent can you know, cannot really guard him. And the best number that you can reach with Franger, um, you know, without using Protect 2 is 29 because you have Dandy Guy Romario as a 12K booster behind him. Uh, and, you know, he gains 5K. So really that's what it does. And by taking those two cards away, you have reduced Grand Blue to back to being pretty much their set one version of call cards out with Ripple Banshee. Yeah, you get to draw cards. Um, and then try to beat down your opponent with a Vanguard that has power and extra crit and two Skull Dragons uh, that have astronomical numbers late game. But you can value guard certain things and then you can PG them and then move on with your day because they're milling themselves out. Um, they're, it, it just, you know, kind of just turns them into kind of still like a vanilla-ish kind of Grand Blue deck in a way. Um, dark regulars, you've reduced them to a, all right, make sure that Brufus has his ability online to on swing, pop a card, gain that, gain the power and critical of that card. And then, you know, by late game, when your opponents have four damage, five damage, have, have 13 soul, and then go into NLK and at least attempt to close out the game on an NLK turn. <laughs> That's really it, you know. Hard leg, hard leg brought so much to that deck, and variance Fring and violence finger brought some much needed closure to Grand Blue that they've taken away now. And the the last thing is the big thing is the timing of this deck, of uh, this ban. You've banned these cards in May. Like I think this week is when the ban list went into effect. You banned these cards in May. The deck especially for English TCG, it's not going to come out till quarter four this year, like no, like October, November, December, something like that. And I think Japan, I think maybe not till like the beginning of fall, something like that. You also are, are apparently, we're also having another banless update in August, I believe. But you're banning these cards from these decks that are barely being played and that you've severely crippled about about almost half a year before their new support comes out and yes you say it's preemptive but this is about half a year before their support comes out you're hitting these cards we don't even know the theme of night rose and shaharla and what they're going to do they bushiro doesn't really doesn't provide explanations really on how, they give like a generic response but they don't provide an in-depth reason as to why car, certain cards are banned why did why is this on the list if you were to ask a bootstrap official now like why did you ban franger and hard leg they can't really they can't tell you anything oh well it's it was because you know we're getting new support and we just wanted to make sure that these cards were hit so that you go okay okay cool what is the theme of the two decks that are going to come out? Are they is Shaharlet going to improve upon the Brufus mechanic of you know being able to selectively soul charge? Is that what we're going to be looking at for Shaharlet? Because then, sure, depending on an improvement of that and what skills are going to come out of it, yes, I can see that. Is Night Rose going to? 
be able to more easily set up violence for anger, give it more power, give rear guards extra critical, and make this card a true closer from three to four damage onward. Is is that what Night Rose is going to end up doing for violence for anger, making this card, making this generic grand blue card, you know, extra overpowered and bandworthy? Is that what it's going to do? We don't know. So the timing of this ban is just off. If you're, if we know the theme and the abilities of the deck, then in the August ban list, sure, I can see that going into, you know, this going into effect. You know, once we know everything. But while we're still kept in the dark about it, and you hit this deck now for about half, for, for about half a year, while we don't know these effects, you are crippling and hurting the hurting the ability of people who just want to play these decks and see if they can have any type of success with them you are severely hurting their ability because you're keeping them in the dark about what the future is and you're hitting really the main kind of win cons of the decks and to me that just isn't fair and it just kind of doesn't make any sense as to why you hit them in may and these decks aren't coming out until quarter four or for Japan, you know, beginning of fall or something like that. Doesn't make any sense. Let me know what you guys thoughts are. Um, if I were to select a card that they could have hit on this May list, I think that they could have hit Jaggy Shot for Narakami. I think that card, um, I have a lot of problems with that card and its ability and its, ex and its existence. Um, you know, in the game for what it does, uh, especially for an Excel clan. I, I just think that Jackie Shot is an overly busted card, and it sh that card should have been looked at as a card that they, I, that they should, you know, hit on the list rather than two cards from two decks that are not e that are not being seen, that are not being played, and that's really their only win cons that they really have to put a lot of these better decks and more updated decks to six. That's just me. Um, I'm going to do another video because someone also told me that uh, they felt like something in Ravon should have been hit. And I have a kind of, I have a bit of a problem with that. Um, I understand Ravon's a good deck, but um, I have a bit of a problem with that. And I'll talk about that in another video. So this is Ricardo King, Aqua Life Baby. You already know what it is. We out. Go ahead, follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash King. We got Vanguard Zero content up there. Um, probably going to do some Legends of Runeterra content up there as well. Um, you know, it's all good. All right, peace.